Hello there. Well, I'm going to glue up the basic part of this cabinet. Naturally, we got a breeze here, so you won't be able to hear me speaking. Never fails. Um, I'm not going to attempt this kind of work. I can't do it. I, I don't have the talent. I don't have the uh, the veneer, and I'm not sure how to do it. But I do know how to do the basic cabinet. So let me show you a close, a little closer view of the what I got to do to the cabinet. Okay, the bottom is loose. Okay, but it's held on over here. So it's pulling on this as I move it. So we are not going to take that bottom out. What we are going to do is to get some glue in here. Like I say, we don't knock the cabinet all apart, it'll end up breaking it. We'll just glue this. This part here has a, a separation here, which I guess is the way it's made, and a separation here and here, uh, probably the way it's made, and it's really noticeable here, and I think it probably would need veneer over the top of this. I'm not doing, I can't do that kind of work. Um, I've never worked with it. I've done Formica, uh, but that's on a rough cabinet. And then I put this fake edging on there where you iron it on, on the edges. Okay, so here we've got a loose top here also. So the only thing I can do is to just Squirt some glue in here and squeeze it together. That's about all I can do to this. Same to here. You got a little piece that goes into a slot here. So we'll get the glue in here. You can't really get this top off, the bottom I should say, because we'll wreck, we'll wreck this. We're not doing that. Like I say, I'm no good at cabinets, but I want to get this reinforced so that I can put the radio in here, even though it looks terrible on the front here and everything. And <clears throat> then the last thing, I'll clean up the plexiglass and put that back in. On the inside, we have a couple of missing blocks and Bob says there's one on the front seat of his truck that came out of here. So I've got two in the workshop that I gotta go back in here and uh, I would say one came out of uh, I don't know really where it came out of. They seem to all be on the bottom. All right, so I am not sure how that bottom, it's one piece. There's a little crack here, but no crack here, all one piece. And this is all one board. So if I try to knock that out, I'm going to break this off, I'm going to break this off. I'm not doing that. So we'll just shove glue in here like I usually do. I just take and I squeeze glue here. I squeeze glue down here, flood it with glue, slap it together, clamp it, and uh, that's the way I do it. I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to deal with the cabinet, but I can't leave the radio in the in a cardboard box without a cabinet. It, the speaker will get damaged and the radio tubes will get broken and this and that. So it's got to it's got to go back in here. So. Um, That's, that's glued right here, so we're leaving that alone. I'm just investigating this now. And the top, the same way. It's in bad shape. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, and um, I'm just not 
good at this stuff. The fine detail stuff I'm not good at. Regular woodwork and glue a box together, square box when it comes to these angles and curves and stuff like that. No, because you see right now I can't get this piece in there. It popped out. So, you can, I don't know if you can see that. Is that in the camera? Yeah. Yeah, see. The other one is in there, see? This one popped out. Well, what I would do, I just put wood filler in here, cover this up, and paint it black in here. You wouldn't see it. See, when I, when I do things like this, I, I make them look worse or sometimes they look better. Actually, anything I do to this is going to look better than it is now. We're just going to, we're just going to try to glue this thing together. Um, we got tight bond wood glue here that we're going to use on it so let me uh, off camera try to get this back in if I can't we'll just put glue right in there and we'll glue it the way it is I'm sure that some of you purists out there are cringing now if ones that are expert at working on cabinets saying this guy's gonna butcher it up well it's already butchered I'm just trying to keep it together make it strong again It'll be strong when I'm done with it. It will not be beautiful. Stay tuned. this down a little get a little clamp to hold that veneer I'll be right back Never bring my reading glasses out. Never think of it. Okay. Um, just a little piece of veneer. I just put it, because most of this veneer over here is pretty good. 
what I'm going to do after this is all dry is I'm going to take the cabinet and turn it on end after I get the clamps off when it's dry and I'm going to just soak a line of glue in the corner between this and the front um, I mean on the on the bottom and the top rather we'll flip the cabinet upright and we'll put a heavy coating of glue on the bottom and the side and let it soak in. That's the way I usually repair things. It's not the right way, it's the way I do it. Um, gotta play around with the glue that's in here because it's running. And we've got some glue here. I don't know. I think that was just me trying to. I don't think it's coming out of here because I didn't glue in this area. Now, down while this thing is facing this way, we got a little curvature. Let's make sure that's clear. We got a little curvature over here. You won't be able to see it, which is the bottom corner, only on the bottom, that I want to get some glue in and uh, soak through. So this will have uh, this will have so much glue in it. It's not going to separate. It may not look nice, but it's not going to come apart. It's going to be good and strong. It will be strong, ugly and strong. <laughs> ugly and strong. All right. All right, there's two of these little blocks right here that I think they came out of here. It looks like an area where it would be. I'll be right back. Just let it soak in.
Okay, um, keep finding glue all over the place here. It's pretty well glued up, um, uh, gently here. We're gonna put some glue in here. We'll just lay it in here and over in that corner because that's where the bottom separated. Although we got a lot of glue in here, I don't think there's gonna be any, any problem with it. So, um, there isn't really much else. I just figured we'd throw this video together to give you something to watch. Now, over here, um, I don't know if you can see this. Can you get the camera in here? Yeah, oh, you can see it. Can you see that little hole there? Yeah. That's where the screw goes in the back. If you notice, the wood is separated. A little bit. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't know if you can see that. But where the speaker grill is, part of the cabinet, not the speaker grill itself, it's separated, and because of that, you can't get a screw in there to stay, because one of the back screws is very loose coming out. So we're going to open this up. piece of veneer. Not going to worry about it. We glue that. And let it sit. And then when we put the screws back in, it'll be stronger. On this side, we're okay. And these are the screw holes here, and they're all fine. So we just this one. And we're getting glue coming out the bottom here. I think it's running on the baffle board. There's not much I can do about it, but it didn't get on the grill cloth, that's good. So it might glue the baffle in. In other words, if you have to change the grill cloth, you're going to have a hell of a time getting the baffle out. Uh, that's held in by four nuts and bolts, small ones. Oh, what we're going to do is... Uh, See if we can dig some of that glue out between the baffle and the cabinet. I'll take the camera over here. Can you see this, Tom? Can you get that in the camera? Yeah. Here's the cabinet. Here's the baffle board. All right, the glue, when I opened that and separated and put the glue in, it's all in here. Not going to be able to... Do much except try to scrape it out so it doesn't glue the board down. Okay, that's good. We got it. We got it. There's about an eighth inch space there, enough to get a rag and a screwdriver in there. The problem is I can't, I have to keep the cabinet this way and my other glues will start running. And like I say, and that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> but I'm gonna yeah. have to go down again. Yep. Nothing I can do. Keep an eye on it. I didn't think that it would take that much. I don't have a, a needle or syringe or anything to inject the glue, so I gotta put it in from the bottle full force here and get it to go in. Okay. One thing's for sure, this cabinet is not going to come up hard in the main seams. My work is strong, but ugly. Just like me. <laughs> Only difference is with me, I'm weak and I'm ugly. There's a difference.
Ain't much. It's kind of a boring video. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> See if any more started coming out. Looks good to me. Well, this is the way I glue things. Somewhat. When I can't take them all apart and do it over, uh, it's just too much. I would break the wood. There's a lot of wood that'll split and everything else. So, I did one radio cabinet a number of years back that it all came apart. It was a table radio. It all came apart so easily that I was able to glue it all back together again without any problem whatsoever. But this one here is glued tight in some places and not glued at all in others. So, uh... Yeah. Okay, uh, the glue is dry enough. Well, it's not really dry at all, but it's not running so much now. Uh, this is the top. This is the bottom. Of course, I got upside down, so I'm going to put a little glue in here. I wanted to make it a little stronger by doing that. That's the way I always glue things anyways. When you can't really take it apart, I had shoved glue in here before I clamped this, but this is just an added measure of glue in the corners. A lot of times what I'll do in the corners, on the inside corners of something, is I'll stand it up so that the corner is sitting down and the sides are like this and I'll lay a bead of glue in there and let it dry up and harden real good and that is almost like putting a corner block in. It's the way I do things sometimes. Sometimes you, you know, you can't really put a corner block in here in this area. It didn't originally have one. Uh, you got to be careful because we don't know how much room it is to get, you have to tilt the chassis to get it out and so forth. Um, another thing, uh, the plexiglass that went in here, I'm not sure how it's held in, but that will be the last thing. I'll put that in after I replace the bulbs on the radio and so forth. As the time I'm making this recording here in this cabinet, I finished earlier today part two, which is the final of the um, radio repair. And the only thing I have not done is replace the two pilot lights and the two short pieces of wire that go to the antenna loop on the back, which are all brittle. I haven't done that yet, but all the caps are replaced. Resistors are all checked out. Everything that needed replacing has been replaced, and the radio is working very well. And I am sure by now you probably have seen it. And this part here, even though this is Tuesday, the same day at which I'm making, I have made part two, nonetheless, you won't see that until part two is up there, and I'm going to be editing that later this evening. It may get up tonight. I don't know. Radio's working very well, and when this cabinet is all set up, I'll put the radio back in after I get the plexiglass in. 
I'm not sure what holds it in. There don't seem to be any uh, holes in there for screws. I, I really don't know what holds it in. Let me go get the plexiglass. I'll be right back. Okay, apparently is a little tiny SOB staples is what held it in. This is the plexiglass. It appears to be in good shape. So, uh, let's uh, see if we can clean it. Staples are hard. Sticking out everything and you get Let me pull these staples out. Not sure. I'll probably have to glue it in or silicone it in. But that's not going to be done today because I want that glue to be dry. Special little, little tiny, tiny, tiny staples. You can just about see them. About eighth inch long, eighth inch wide. Got to get them out of here so I can clean this thing properly, if I can. Lucky we got the plastic for this. A lot of these are broken after all the years. And no, I wouldn't try to bang these back in. I don't have any luck with that. They'll just bend over. We'll just uh, silicone this in silicone it in or glue it in but most likely silicone it with clear silicone all right let me uh, try to clean this a little better now that I got the sharp staples out of it It don't look much better. A lot of guys would replace this, but ah, you'll probably never get the exact match. And uh, the cabinet is in such bad shape that. kind of foolish to do it. Let's see, is that glue uh, running? Nope, looks like it's staying in place. Once it runs and dries, you've got to live with it. Not too clear. Television screen is not very clear, ladies and germs. <laughs> Siren City. Yep. Well, it's better than it was. I'm not going to try to put it in. I'll just stick it in here and see... Let's see, that's the top here. Oh, it just fits in like a glove. Wow, perfect. Yeah, 
Yeah. I don't know what holds the top end, which is actually the bottom, where the knobs are. Pretty dirty looking. But it's, I think it's just old and uh, scuffed. It's uh, better than it was, though. It's better than it is. But yeah. it's cleaner now, a little bit cleaner. Yeah, well, I'm not going to try to put this in now. Yeah, silicone on the on this clear silicone is what I'll do, but I'm not putting this in now because I have to probably do some more work on the cabinet, do some uh, some more uh, gluing here. I'd rather put a little more glue in it a little later on. We'll do that off camera rather than have it fall apart. Oh, you know, it could fall apart on us. Not saying it will. If I do say so myself, it's not too, too bad. All right, that's it. We'll come back in a minute. Okay, if you notice the uh, Siren City again, damn it, every time I'm making a recording. Uh, model 6 whatever TA and not TC. Uh, Bob noticed that too, and there's a tube location diagram here, which appears to be the same tubes, but not the same model number, so I really don't know. Uh, ZE1 is not going to get you a close-up of that, so um, that's the best we can do for you. Okay. Okay, I just pulled out one of the bulbs in the um, radio. It takes two of them. It's the number 51. I thought I had a 51. I don't have a number 51. I have 44s, 47s, and one other one. So um, they're very short. I don't know if you can use a 47. It might stick out too far and burn the plastic with the heat. So uh, that's the only thing I got to do to the radio uh, is replace the two bulbs which I feel I should do before putting it in here, but I may have to order some bulbs. Um, but I may not even do that because I'm not going to keep the radio anyways. Uh, I just want to get the cabinet fixed up. And so I figured I'd take the bulb out and see what type it took. Um, it's a matter of letting this glue dry now. Um, if it wasn't for these things here and the missing veneer and pieces, which I'd normally just fill in with wood filler and probably uh, paint it, and that's terrible. That's terrible to do something like that to a nice vintage piece of equipment, radio like this. The only good piece is right here. Um, it's been suggested to just cut this off here, 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 and cut it off here, cut it off here, and just leave the drill cloth like that and do, do away with those bands in there. But I'm not going to do that. Um, if somebody does get this radio, it don't appear that anybody seems to be interested in it. Uh, they can deal with the cabinet, okay? At least I've got the thing glued. And um, the only thing I want to do, and I, I'll put a little glue up into here.
I have to let that dry before I can try to glue that piece back in there. Do that off camera. That's it for this. At least it's not going to fall apart. I can guarantee you the main cabinet will not fall apart. I can't guarantee any of these other pieces will come off. But that's it. So, uh... I'm going to be working on part two uh, of the radio, and by now, of course, you've already seen it. And this is going up later, so today is Tuesday. You probably will see this either Wednesday or Thursday. Because this is going to sit and dry, and i got several hours of editing to do on the other video on part two. So that's it, folks. Whatever it is you do, don't put up tomorrow, but you can do today. If it isn't woodwork and building cabinets, you may like it again, and you may want to do it again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Good day.